Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We have a big day ahead, guys. It is Wednesday today, and there is new pack code out there saying that a hero pack is coming today. But it's a different type of hero pack than we had two weeks ago. This also kind of confirms EA is going with the schedule that they had in previous years of Ultimate Team, where one week we get a hero SBC, the next week we get an icon, and they keep flip-flopping back and forth. So the 87 max icon goes away and the 88 max hero comes in today we'll have to talk about that how fodder is going to move how the market's going to move and of course everything else going on in this game right now with road to the knockout cards getting upgrades confirmed technically not getting upgraded statistically yet that'll come on friday but more games today and prices moving on the market with those and of course, the market in general, probably going to drop today. That's what we expect, but we'll get prepared to invest for a big Rivals Rewards hopeful rise tomorrow. A lot to discuss. If you're excited for it, drop a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new. Let's talk about yesterday's Tuesday content first. Not a whole lot to talk about except for two player SBCs. We did finally have the Player of the Month SBC for Bradley Barcola. And as expected, it is not near as good as his Road to the Knockouts card, which is actually down in price because PSG drew yesterday. 1-1 one, one the PSV. But, 4-star weak foot, sorry, 4-star skills, 3-star weak foot, and the additions to this card in terms of the stats are not bad. They didn't really add any playstyles for him or roles. It's just a simple upgrade over his gold card. He does have over 90 pace. I mean, it's a pretty good upgrade, let's be honest. From an 80 to an 85, that is a sizable upgrade. But, I think the price and the lack of the weak foot upgrade and maybe additions of other play styles is what's keeping people away from doing this SBC. It just doesn't go crazy. Those small things, right? It's decent if you really want to get them done, if you really are a PSG fan or something like that. But it's not that great of an SBC. And it's a bit of the price that's the issue. One interesting thing about this is, of the five squads you have to turn in, every single one of them requires a team of the week player team league cards are still like 11,000 coins in the market so they're not really rising that much but there is a little bit more demand because there are some people wanting to do this bar cola now the one other SBC that we had yesterday I think is a little more well received because of the NWSL links that are popular right now with Swanson and with Morgan we had the crystal Dunn SBC which I don't know this one as well for me I'm tempted to do it. I might end up getting it done, but there's some things that this card is missing. The first thing that I like about this, 4-star, four 4-star, four star, the links to NWSL, obviously, and she's pretty good in game from what I hear about her gold card, right? But what I don't like is this card had two playstyles added, Flare and Acrobatic from her gold. Not great. The rolls, nothing much here. She did get a new position added to this card, which is right back. Makes her very, very versatile. Kind of reminds me of like Marcus Urente, where you can play him as right mid, center mid, right back, stuff like that. She does have some decent rolls in there, but only for certain areas of the pitch. The problem with the play styles is no passing play styles, no defensive play styles, and that is a bit of an issue for a card that's probably decent in game. Potential to Evo in the future, again, if Evos ever get fixed. But the issue is, for me, it's a lot of squads. Six squads. I know that the price overall isn't that daunting. 180,000 coins for a player that's going to really help you link in your team for NWSL cards, which, again, I fully intend to get this SBC done and chip away at it. Future Evo potential, sure, I'll be there for it. And fitting in a team right now and being at least a decent card for an okay price, I'll be there for it. Six squads just feels like a lot, even though the overall price isn't that much. But the one nice thing about this is you do get a lot of tradable packs back for doing all these SBCs, and the ratings are pretty low, right? 285s, 284s, and then 283 squads for Crystal Dunn. Now, it seems like a decent amount of people are doing this Crystal Dunn SBC because if you take a look at the market on some players that are in the midfield, especially around that 100 to 200k range, prices dropped yesterday, and it's not just because of the hero pack. Prices dropped on the market yesterday because of the hero pack, but take a look at Bonmati. Right around content drop time, she goes from 210 all the way down to 190k. Jude Bellingham as well. Like, guys, obviously people are doing this Crystal Dunn to link in their squads to go with, you know, Alex Morgan and Swanson. So it's kind of obvious to see that some midfielders on the market are down because of this card, and there's kind of a direct correlation. Even though this card and this SBC is not upvoted in incredible amounts. Like, her card's upvoted 1,300 to 849, and then the SBC's got a pretty 
downvote heavy ratio here but i think this was the better of the two sbcs yesterday so kind of have to decide for yourself if you're going to get that one done there's also i want to point this out because if you're on the fence about doing this sbc obviously we have a big sbc coming today and asy one of the leakers that we follow often on twitter yesterday said save your fodder he's got leaks guys and i think some of the info is probably going to be coming out soon which is going to be interesting because maybe we're finally going to get one of those big boy SBCs that we have been wanting and made it make me an SBC that feels worthwhile to chase after to craft like a more expensive type of card. So that's one thing to think about with your fodder right now at the moment too. Lastly, content yesterday, we had a new weekly rush points objective reset here. So 70k rush points. If you're playing the pure strength mode, there's more packs that you can get from those. And that was basically it from a content standpoint. But of course, there are prices moving on this market because of UEFA Champions League. And we have only one card that is getting upgraded this Friday from yesterday's games. And that is Ali Watkins, Julian Brandt. And Dortmund had us hoping or thinking at least for a moment that he was going to get upgraded because, of course, they were winning 2-0. And then Real Madrid came back and won 5-2. But Ali Watkins' card is up a little bit. Like yesterday, his card went up like, you know, he's up right now like 5 to 10K. He was up to 124. He was down as low as 117. I don't think his card price is going to go up a whole lot more. It's a simple plus one, guys. Like I mentioned in yesterday's video, selling in the hype is always a safe play. And you actually saw that yesterday on some of these Champions League cards. Even players who weren't even playing yesterday, like Garnacho, he went from above 400,000 coins down to about 380. People just selling this card off to get it out, to take their coins, to take their profit. Gusto was down a little bit yesterday, too. Um, you know, obviously, Brant's down post-match because they lost. But this card is actually, if you want to play a long-term investment opportunity here, the next game the Dortmund will play is on November 5th against Sturm Graz. He is one win away and one scoring game away from getting a plus two. So potentially, in a couple of weeks, this Julian Brandt could become an 89-rated card and add a roll plus plus with that second upgrade too. So scoring in four different matches gets you a, a roll plus plus as well. So this could be a sneaky good investment at some point in the weekend. I don't know how low he's going to go um, with other content that we may get. The market could make this card a little bit lower. It's not exactly a meta card, but it has potential to get a plus two all in one go in a couple of weeks. So that's one thing I did want to point out from that card yesterday. But a lot of these Road to the Knockout cards, um, you know, they're pretty similar in price. You know, like Jude Bellingham, they won, right? Wow, he's really not much in price. He's still 1.9 million coins. Not much changes there. He gets closer to an upgrade, but it didn't really change a lot of things for him. Same thing with Van de Beek. Um, same thing with Noah Lang. Noah Lang's up a little bit in price because they were an underdog, of course, against PSG. And speaking of PSG, I actually picked up a couple of Bradley Barcola's right around 420,000 coins because obviously this card dropped a lot. He was 520,000 coins yesterday. And with PSG losing, he is now down at 420,000 coins. This is a risky situation. Is he still worth this with his player of the month SBC that's out? I don't know. I'm on the fence on this one. I picked it up because I was hoping that he would rebound just off of rarity because these cards are very rare. And of course, this Barcola is way better than the player of the month, but it's still looking like right now he's hanging around that 400,000 coin price range. He could go a little lower this morning before rising back up. We'll see how that works. But again, one thing to watch for too is even when you're a favorite and you win, like this Kai Havertz, he actually went down after the game. He's back up now, but he was down at 590,000 coins. Apart from his undercut, he's back to 614. These cards are going to continue to fluctuate. If you do not want to risk it, though, as you can see from my transfer list, I sold all of my Couture Romero's. I think I have one more. I sold all of these in the hype because I'm like, you know what? I saw this card go down to 199,000 coins yesterday. He was panic sold a little bit. So I was like, you know what? He's back to 209. Let me take my cash here. No frills, no worries, and nothing like that. But we do have more games today. So, of course, watch the RTTKs today for potential price movements as there will be underdogs that maybe score early and you have the favorites prices that drop like we saw for Jude Bellingham and maybe you have underdogs go up in price like Brandt. If you want to see us actually live trading with the cards, I made a couple thousand coins of profit on Julian Brandt yesterday during the madness. That's on the second channel. It's one of the most fun ways to trade and it'll continue to be so, especially as we get further into the competition when the upgrades are kind of do or die type of situation. And right now it's kind of like, oh, they've got a lot of time to potentially upgrade still. It's going to be 
do or die soon for these upgrades and for these cards. So that's on the second channel if you want to check that one out. Ooh, Tevez is getting low. Tevez is in the Icon SBC today, or the Hero SBC today, guys. He's going to be available to pack from it. But before we get to that, let's talk about the market a bit because with the leak of the uh, Hero Pack coming, you know, the overall market here doesn't really show a big drop-off. It's about the same, pretty flat. But you can tell that a decent amount of cards yesterday take a they took a little bit of a hit or just they're down a little like Saliba's 191,000 coins he started the day yesterday at 203 so a 10k drop for him Griezmann was down a lot yesterday um, he went from 71,000 coins to 61k gold cards we just got to be really really careful with guys I really believe that these gold cards are just going to continue to get cooked and it's because it's because people want to use different cards they want to use colorful cards from promos and they're tired of using gold cards now because this game has been out for a month, basically. And people have been chasing these cards, but there's newer ones that are out with Team of the Weeks, Total Rushes, and, you know, even Road to the Knockout cards and SBCs that people are chasing. So the market today is probably going to be a really, really wild place. But of course, we're going to be watching for price drops that we can invest in before the opportunity to see a price rise with division rivals rewards. So that is kind of the outlook of the market today. We're going to talk about that a little bit more, but we are absolutely expecting the market to drop today. And of course, the reason that the market's going to drop a lot today is because the anticipation and the actual release of this SBC right here. The Max 88 Base Hero Pack. Let's talk about it, guys. We're expecting it to come today on this game after this pack code was added early yesterday, kind of like it was in previous weeks. They add the pack code. The SBC comes a couple days later. Fits into the mold that EA seems to be doing, that Wednesdays are the big upgrade packs for heroes or icons each and every week. So we're expecting this today. Now, the question is... Who is packable from it since they added that extra rating, right? Two weeks ago, we had the max 87 base hero. There's actually some bangers. This one's going to be more expensive, guys, because EA's adding in some really big players into this. Dina Tally, first hero pack of the year with Ed and Hazard potentially packable from it as well. Futre, Okocha, Schneider, uh, Vincent Company, Mike Khan is in this one. Tevez, Forlan, Captivia even, and Francescoli as well. There's a lot of 88-rated cards that will make the potential, like, insane pulls from this SBC really really good and of course it means with that EA is probably going to make it more expensive as well the other hero pack I believe was an 84 and an, it was an 85 86 or 84 85 one of the two it was like a hundred and I think 60 or 150 thousand coins it wasn't that crazy I think it was 85 86 but it was just enough to be slightly annoying I think this SBC today is at least going to be two 86 rated squads Maybe it's going to end up being like an 86 and an 87, or maybe they'll even go the three SBC route and do the exact same requirements as the 87 base icon. We'll have to see. But since they're adding in those players, it's going to be crazy. And I think EA is going to require a little bit more because of that. Now, SBC fodder wise, yep, you bet it's going up. 86s are already 9,000 coins. 85s are about 5.6K. Even 84s are 2.1K. 87s are closing in on 15, like 14.25 at the moment. I would imagine fodder is rising slowly into the day today. I'm going to actually have to pick some stuff up to stock the club. I'm going to have to spend some coins because I don't have enough fodder in the club to go to this SBC. My advice to you guys would be if you want to do it and you're 100% going to do it today, just stock a little bit of it ahead of time. Save yourself the stress and the worry and all of the craziness of everybody going and buying fodder once the SBC comes out. If you don't end up liking the price of it, if it's too overpriced today, then you could just sell your fodder straight away, the small little bit that you buy for the SBC, and you could get your coins back. But I would expect fodder, of course, to be rising in the content and rise a little bit after content as well. And then, of course, maybe drop down a little bit heading into the nighttime because there will be a little more supply but once again if it drops too far before division rivals rewards or during rewards it's going to go up afterwards because a lot of people will probably just wait to do the spc until after the division rivals rewards fodder comes into their account too so that's kind of the fodder situation if they do end up giving an 87 rated squad instead of just 85s and 86s 
One sleeper investment, which is not really a sleeper investment because a lot of people are already investing in them, but 88s. 88s could go up a decent amount today if there's an 87 rated squad required here. Something to kind of watch out for. If you invested like I did in the 89 to 91s, this SBC probably not going to make those move that much. That's okay. We're not investing for this type of SBC with that high rated fodder investment. We're investing for a even bigger one coming later down the line. Maybe as soon as this weekend could be an early uh, rise for the fodder prices here. We'll just have to see. So I do think fodder is going up today. If you want to sell it, the best time is probably going to be in the hour or so after content. One sneaky way to list your fodder, as always, is an hour before the content drop or about 50 minutes before the content drop is list your fodder up for about one, two, three thousand coins over what they're selling for at the moment. Like right now, Emmy Martinez is one of the cheapest 87s. He's like 14.2. For actually almost 15,000 coins. Maybe you're listing up your 87s at like 17K today because they actually might sell there for lazies as people are like searching the market after content to go to the SBC. They see, oh, here's one for 17K that's expiring, right? You know, and a lot of people search like, like oh, 87 Martinez, he's 87. What do I see here? Oh, I see a 17K. But you know, at content today, those prices are probably going to be up a little bit. So list for lazies, you'll get some sales about an hour before content. So they're expiring when everybody's starting to do the SBC. That's a sneaky way to maybe make a couple extra thousand coins on fodder. And then your fodder is ready to relist around that time as well in the peak of the demand for it. So that's the situation there. Now, let me talk about hero prices for a quick second. Some of these have gone down. Ramirez, he's dropping right now. I saw him at 1.1 mil. Now he's like 1 million coins. He's down a sum. You saw me looking at Tevez. Tevez is down a lot too. He's 545k. I mean, that's tempting to me to just buy outright because in the past couple of days, he's been as high as 615. Yesterday, you could see he started dropping off. He's not going to get packed that much from this SBC guy. So for the 88 rated icons or any of the higher tier icons, I'm going to guess and say three to 400,000 coins above or 300,000 to 400,000 coins and above that price range for these icons or for these heroes. Sorry, I keep interchanging icons and heroes. These are all heroes. Um, if they drop off a lot today, Hazard as well, he was down at 1.8 mil. Like there could be, just like we saw a couple of weeks ago, I remember Jap Stam had this sort of uh, fluctuation. The, the new, the hero pack came out and he went up like a bunch right after that. He went from 860 to 960. There could be similar movements on some of the hero cards, especially if they've dropped off. So like Tevez for me, I would love to pick one up uh, before the content drop today because it's probably uh, most of his panic selling will happen pre SBC release. 545 is wicked low, bro. Like, I'm going to try to maybe get a 520 or a 530. Like, this one on bid is the one that I'm eyeing at the moment. Ramirez could be interesting. Hazard, even a Dina Tally. Some of those cards could rebound really well today for heroes, but the low tier on heroes, they're going to get packed a lot. So, like Donovan. And if you go to this list, you know, the ones that we all think we're going to pack and probably will, like, Compost, Dempsey, Rickin, Canu, those types of players. Those are going to be ones that drop off considerable amounts. Even a guy like Carragher, I'd be very careful with today. I would wait on that and not buy it until after the hero pack drops, obviously. So that's kind of the hero situation. And then for the rest of the market, right? Last week with the icon pack coming out, there was big price drops right at content. And then prices, some actually went up a little bit. Before Rivals Rewards, they never went all the way back down to where they were in that right after content. Big panic sell as people were selling cards to go to do the Icon SPC. This week for the Hero SPC, we got to watch out for the same thing. But at that same time, we need to be thinking about who are we investing in for a rise after Division Rivals Rewards. The safest stuff is going to be out of pack special cards, maybe a total rush player from team number one. Those are out of packs. Maybe a road to the knockouts player. Maybe a, a team of the week card. Maybe it's uh, Inform Saka. Maybe it's Inform Vandevin for you. Inform Militao is 180k. That's up 12k. How low did he go? He was 183. Um, that's up 12k. How's Flippin getting that math here? He was 180, 185. I don't know. Anyways, watch out of packs cards today, guys. Icons as well and heroes. The stuff that goes up almost every single week with division rivals rewards that's the stuff you're going to watch for and you know what just do a little research go back to last week and, and think about oh okay maybe you want to buy a hero you're like hmm you know um my con last week or, or joe cole last week what did he do sure last week we didn't have a hero pack in an icon pack but joe cole went from 310k to 360. what is he right now 340. maybe he drops with the panic of the hero maybe he's down to like 320 again 
There you go. That might be a card that people are like, man, I would really love to try Joe Cole. I get my Rivals Rewards. I get coins. He could go up. And then, you know what? For gold cards, guys, I got to keep saying this for golds. Even for a guy like Hyunmin Sun, Saliba, and VVD, the gold cards just don't move as much. I don't think I want to invest in any gold today. Unless it's like a gold card that's out of packs and you think there's potential for a rise or maybe it's a gold card that's going out of packs for the new promo team if there's leaks uh for the uh, trailblazers team that is coming out on friday we believe if there's leaks for that which is already one leak we'll talk about that shortly those are maybe the players in terms of gold that you'd want to look at but anything that's going to be in packs especially total rush team two if you're interested in maybe investing in somebody from team two because also this is going to bring a great opportunity to buy some of these Total Rush cards from Team 2 after rewards is out when they get supplied. Then you could be looking for an investment opportunity. 1.64 for Salah? That's like a 100k undercut. He's just sitting there and chilling, really. Um, he was 163 yesterday and, and peaked. I mean, before, with the day coming, that's actually really interesting. All right, I'm adding that to my watch list. That's literally like a 100k undercut. But for any of these cards, Zaire Emery, Tamori, Guerrero's down bad. He's going to drop even further. Maybe it's Martins. Maybe it's Iago Aspas, who are finally on the market and very expensive. Those cards are going to drop, in my opinion, with the Rivals Rewards supply. They could be good buys. Like, if you guys remember last week, I picked up Kevin De Bruyne for like 1.3 or something and sold it for 148. Um, I think Trent went up from there. Shulmeni had his lowest point after the Rivals Rewards were actually pushed out. I would look at the same sort of fluctuations for Team 2 of Total Rush today as well so that's or tomorrow really but watch them drop today and then have a chance to pick them up during rivals rewards tomorrow so that's kind of the market again it's going to be coming down to timing for a lot of things um for a lot of these cards but i think anytime between right after the content drop depending on how significant the price drops are that's how we'll say it if the hero pack comes out today and prices are like dropping ahead of time and then they drop again right at content that might be the lowest point to go out and pick up a few of these cards that you want to flip for after rivals depending on how much panic there is there especially if there's a lot of panic before content and then we see the sbc and we're like ah oh, it's really expensive. There's a little bit more panic as people go and do it, and then prices could go up after that. That's one thing you'd want to see. Um, you know, it just kind of depends on how much panic is before content and then how big the price drop offs are right at content when the hero pack comes out. So it's going to be a mad frenzy today. It's going to be so much fun to watch the market. And even if you're not on during the content time, if you're not awake during then, you'll still be able to buy cards that are out of pack specials like right before rewards. I wouldn't stress about it if you can't get on, if you're whatever time zone you're in, if it doesn't work, there will still be deals. If you're like waking up and Rivals Rewards come out an hour after you wake up, there will still be deals in the wee hours when we normally buy right before Rivals Rewards. So whatever schedule you're on, there will be deals. Don't worry. It's a Wednesday. The market's going to drop today, especially with the Hero Pack coming out. So that's kind of that situation there talking about the market. Let's cover the other content that's going to come today besides the Max 88 Hero Pack. A new team of the week, of course, since it's Wednesday. Here's the leaked players. Luis Suarez, first special card of the year. Harry Kane, uh, Karchawi, Diaby, Kalulu, Pedri is getting a team of the week card as well. He's probably the biggest name. Harry Kane and Pedri, biggest names getting a team of the week. Really interested to see who the... Um, Featured team league players, if it's Suarez, that would be absolutely sick. We'll see if they give him a big pace boost. That could be a fun card for sure. And Inter Miami links, not that there's that many of them, but I'm sure a lot of people would at least want to try out Suarez, depending on the boost that he gets. So, watch out for this team of the week that will be coming today. And then, of course, we still have a Rush SPC out there looming large, and that is Ibanez from the Saudi League. And if you guys noticed it, there was a massive either a pump and dump scenario or something was going on with Al Jaber, the Saudi League hero card. He's still currently like 100,000 coins. He was 60K yesterday. He's, yeah, he's 94K. This card um, got pumped like crazy. I mean, maybe this Ibanez card comes out today, but this Al Jaber should not be this expensive. I don't think he's worth that. Maybe watch Al Wayran as well. If the Ibanez SBC is super cracked, maybe it makes some Saudi cards go up. Wouldn't expect a whole lot from that, but that is a Brazilian center back. There could be some links there. Maybe you're investing in gold Neymar. He's already inflated a lot for this as well. But that's an SBC we could see today. Could be tomorrow. It's either today or tomorrow, though, for sure. It might be the last 
Rush SBC that we have before this promo comes to a close. Last shout for content today. Maybe an Evo? Hey, we can dream, right? We can dream that EA could maybe have the evolutions fixed here. We could actually get something today. Um, I got to decide if I'm going to spend 50K on the cannon and put Brennan Johnson into it. We'll just have to see. And then finally, guys, this doesn't really have to do with content in the game, but we do have one leak so far. It is from Foot Police, and he is claiming that Pulisic is in Trailblazers as an SBC objective or promo card. So he doesn't know if, how he's going to be released. But Pulisic is coming to Ultimate Team soon. This is the first Trailblazers card leak that we have. Um, this is definitely predicted stats. This is not his exact card as it goes with the leaks almost nine times out of ten. Uh, this is just saying that Pulisic is in the card. We have no idea what it will look like. I'm obviously very excited for this. This would go boom straight in my team. USA Lynx and Syria. That just fits like a lot of people's teams right now with the Morgan SBC, the Swanson, and the Taram Bros, right? So there is that. I would watch for more leaks today. This tweet to me says he's got leaks. ASY's got leaks. He's going to be posting those pretty soon, I would imagine. The whole leaking situation, it's just weird to think about and weird to talk about when you kind of, you know, reveal that you have leaks, but you're not saying them yet. Yeah, there's, I don't know, that feels a little weird to me. I don't know if it feels weird to you guys, but there's definitely going to be some more leaks today, maybe tomorrow still. And I've been building up a couple of these 80 plus combo upgrades just because... I have so many 80 to 81 rated's in my club, and I've done a couple of those like fodder SBCs, but your boy needs to rip a few packs here and try to, ooh, Udogi, sweet, I paid for this one. Cool, we can sell that, I'll take a first donor. Um, I, I gotta pack a little bit of fodder, cause I gotta do the hero pack today, and I would really, I would like to do Crystal Dawn, I would. It seems a bit expensive, I get it, but I would like to do this card, Grealish and Poro, that's what I'm talking about. We need those types of players to be able to do uh, the Dunn SBC since there's some lower rateds in there. No walkouts from these. The 80 plus combos, I don't know how I feel about them. Then an 83 Koke. Yeah, at least I'm trying to get a few bits of fodder in the club. So, guys, if you want to see me open the hero pack today, the RTG will be doing it. We'll be seeing if we can get something uh, insane to put into our main team. And then uh, we'll probably chase the Crystal Dunn SBC after that. But as always, you can check out the TFA TG on the second channel. I'll link that above. Oh, you guys haven't been able to see my coins the whole time. Sorry, I've got two mil. I, I moved the face can up for when we're playing gameplay. I've got two million coins at the moment. Um, I have the Romero. I got one left. I have both Barcolas. So that would take me to about uh, uh, three million coins right there. And then I've got about 500k invested in Rodri still. So yeah, that's where our coins are at the moment. Oh, there's the Romero right there. Let me list them up. 207, just kind of want to get them gone. That's decent profit. So we're still right around three and a half million coins. Obviously, I need to buy a little bit more fodder, so the coin total might just dip down a little bit after that. So we'll see if we get lucky with these Barcolas or if it gets panic sold more today. We're going to risk it a little bit on that. Doesn't seem like a smart day to risk it, but we're in it. So we're going to see what happens. That's the video for me today, guys. If you're excited for the Max 88 Hero, drop a thumbs up on the video. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. I'm going to try to snag this Tevez on bid, and I will see you guys in the stream today. It's been Nate for the Count. See you there. Peace out.